Hello and welcome to the quick tip on finger tension. So finger tension happens when we try to play something that's either too fast for our ability or if our fingers are being stretched um, farther than what they can be. There's lots of different ways that we can experience finger tension. So there's a few tips today to help you relieve that tension and build up the muscles in your fingers so that we are able to play faster. Let's start on a closed keyboard and with everything, it's good to have a w proper warm up for um, practicing at home and to build the strength in your fingers. So let's just start um, hands together, just balancing on the thumb. So what we're doing is I'm actually just holding up my fingers and my hands with my thumb. Let's move to the finger two. And when we balance, you can kind of feel it in here. It creates a little bit of pressure and keep those fingers nice and curved. So you can see the curve of my finger here. It's not bending back. My wrist isn't high. I've got a level um, forearm here. And then finger four, this is one of the weakest fingers. So careful with this one. I'm not applying, you don't have to apply all of your arm weight. And the pinky finger, same type of thing. Don't let the pinky fingers bend back or try to keep them strong. Let's go back in. So finger fours again, just balancing. And another thing, let's go to finger three. Don't let your other fingers stick out like this because that's creating tension to keep your fingers out, even if you think you're not. <laughs> finger two and the thumb. Now, one other thing to mention is if you have long fingernails, you will not be able to do this properly or play piano properly. I've had a manicure before for my wedding and when I sat down to play the piano, I had click, click, clicks and I couldn't bend my fingers past like basically straight. So if you have long fingernails, make sure you cut them so that you can play on the kind of the softer pad of your fingers um, without making a clicking sound. Okay, so let's move to the keyboard. So on the keys, let's do the same thing. So let's start on the keys with our thumbs on middle C, keeping them curved as you play. And when you play the note, just relax. Let the tension melt away into the floor. <laughs> I sound like a yoga instructor. <laughs> okay, so that will help build your finger strength. Now let's build the strength between the fingers. So we're gonna practice a scale, the D scale, just in groups, and we're gonna practice this kind of fast. So once you find a scale that you're comfortable with, with the fingering and the notes, um, well, let's work on speed. So we're gonna play four notes at a time and in quick succession. So we're gonna repeat that group over and over. So the four notes are D, E, F sharp, G. So we've got the cross under, under there. And generally you can do this with a metronome, but allow yourself to pause in between and kind of keep a nice steady pace. And keep the notes nice and even. So if you're finding that the thumb you're really landing on that, try to keep the thumb light. Okay, so now let's add a note. Let's add in A. Relax in between. Relax. Let's add the B. Relax. And let's add the C sharp. Let's go all the way up to D. All right, so when you're practicing these, remember to give yourself an, an amount of time to rest in between because you don't want to be stressing your hands and really working out a lot because what we are doing now is working out our hand muscles so that they're getting stronger and just like working out other parts of our body, you don't want to overdo it because you don't want to pull a muscle and you don't want to be super sore for later. Okay, so now I have an exercise for the left hand finger tension. I had a student a little while back, she was playing rapid triads in the left hand. And I could see her hands just getting more tense, more tense and more tense. So one thing you want to focus on with this is using your wrist and allowing other parts of your body to help with the playing rather than just your fingers. So with this left hand finger tension, if you have a rapid uh, triad pattern in the left hand, 
we're going to let the wrist help out along. So rather than just all these fingers doing the work, the wrist is going to be doing little circles behind the fingers, adding its own little movements and adding its own little weight so that it's not just the fingers. So nice and slow, just start with some wrist circles. C, E, G. Okay, now keep it loose, focus on those fingers. And basically when you get faster, it's the wrist moving low, and it's kind of making a little U shape. It's going, moving between each finger as it plays. And when you get into the faster motion, it's mostly just on the C where you use your wrist to go a little lower. So rather than the fingers doing all the movements, let other parts of your body help out with those fingers. All right, so with all this talk about finger tension and building strength, make sure three things. You practice away from the piano, build those muscles in your fingers, give yourself time to relax in between, and make reminders for yourself on any songs or any technique sheets that you have. I know my, my songs and my sheets are full of different colors and different markings to remind myself different things. So try those out, let me know what you think, and we'll see you soon.